credit for his athletic ability. You know, seems like it's so kind of almost stereotype. You know, he's just the slow white guy who, you know, how's he doing it? But I mean, that's not fair, really. I'm he's assuming he's slow, got something. Yeah. No, and he's not slow, and, yeah. he, and he's got great quick. I mean, yeah, is he, you know, a better athlete than people give him credit for? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I feel like people are giving him a little bit of credit. You know, I, I think he does a great job. Mm -hmm. um, just looking at film, looking at the plays he made against South Carolina, you know, Miami. You know, he's a great player all around, you know. Mm -hmm. He against us a couple of years ago. Like I said, I think he's one of the best receivers in the country. Mm -hmm. You know, you appreciate what he's done considering he's kind of the new camp the same thing as a walk-on. Um, no, I really don't focus on him. But, you know, like I said, he's a great athlete, great competitor. Um, one of the best in the country. Um, I think he should get credit, like I'm just talking about credit that he's uh, worked for. What did it take to you guys both walk on to earn your spot in you know, a program like Alabama? I mean, how challenging was that to come in you um, you know, I can't really talk much about his experience, but um, um, Alabama is definitely difficult. You know, just with the, the caliber of guys, you know, you have to go against every day. Um, it's just a lot of hard work, and you have to be dedicated to the process. What does Rock do? One foot. Makes his, um, his quickness definitely off the line. You know, he I've seen him give many people, you know, many different moves, um, and then his hands. You know, I think he's one of the best catchers. That we'll, we'll probably see. What does Ronnie Harrison bring to this defense? He's kind of a, we know he's a talent, but because of Minka and Deron, he does, he's probably overshadowed. What, what does he bring to this year? Um, I think Ronnie's probably the best true safety uh, in college football. Um, just looking at our point system, he was the top um, of our point system. Uh, definitely physical, physical. Um, and he always knows what to do. You know, I look to him as my signal caller. He's mostly in the boundary a lot. And I'm also on that left side, you know, he's, He's always communicating. He replays really good. Um, Coach Saban does a lot of talking to him because he gets he gets um, the system very well. So you know you appreciate a guy like that. I tell you how to ask this, but to, you know talking about Hunter and everybody kind of maybe shortchanging him one way. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's even uh, kind of almost a racial thing. Does do guys get stereotyped? I mean, it, it, it like kind of a, a set seems to me that. A lot of times they'll say like a, a great athlete, you know, is under is under is diminishing his how hard you have to work to get to this level, isn't it? Uh, I mean, everybody out here is working hard and studying, and you know, has to do a lot of a lot of work in the classroom and film room, right? right? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> nobody's just walking out here and becoming because they're a good athlete, you yeah. know, becoming a star football player. Right? Yeah, but, I mean, he's definitely a great athlete. Yeah, you know, um, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. skin, you, you know, great football player when you see one. Mm -hmm. He's definitely uh, one of the best in the nation. Yeah, the same guy both seem like when he, if he's going against Minka, is Minka's a great athlete, but he's also a guy who's worked hard and mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, done what it took to get here uh, to this level. Yes, sir. The talk here has been about Hunter Renfro, obviously, but what have you seen out of guys like Deion Kane, Ray Ray McLeod, those guys who are stepping into bigger roles this year after mm -hmm. some of those more experienced guys left? Um, I think Deion Kane is the top receiver when it comes to yards on Clemson. Um, definitely a deep threat guy. There's a lot of deep routes, has great hands, you know, uh, judges the ball very well. And then Ray Ray, um, very explosive, you know, really fast. Um, I'm preparing for him. Um, He's, and he's also the punt returner. You know, he the, their group, a uh, really good group of guys um, that, are, that are really talented, and, you know, we, we respect those guys a lot. Do you expect this, uh, we'll look back on this uh, series, Clemson, Alabama, these three games. Mm -hmm. Somebody was saying it'll be like a, a 30 for 30 maybe one of these days. Uh, I mean, I know you're kind of living in the moment in, the, in this game, but – can you step back at all and look and see how good these first two games have been between these teams and and think this will be something we'll be talking about, you know, 30 years from now or watching highlights of, you know, the great Alabama-Clemson trilogy or whatever? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. You know, first two games are great. And, you know, we'll have to see what happens Monday for the third game. Um, hopefully it's another great one. But, you know, you know, first two games are over with. We can't affect those anymore. Um, focus on this third game. And uh, hopefully we do our best and come out on top. Is it a relief not to not to see Watson out there? Would that be a relief? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, Sean Watson was a great quarterback. Um, probably one of the best is, um, in college football ever. Um, you see what he's done in the NFL. Um, we have a lot of respect for him. I don't know about a relief. Um, 
you know, we expect to, to dominate every every team we play, um, no matter who the players are. So. That said, how, how motivated or how eager is it to get back on the field after that hundred ball? Um, you know, it's been over a month since we played our last game. You know, we were just talking in the ride over here. We're excited to play, you know. Um, just trying to keep that excitement down, you know, poison confidence like Coach Brewer always tells us. Um, but we're definitely excited, more excited, um, I think, probably than the last two games. Does that month playoff kind of add to the motivation or, or the chip, so to say? Um, definitely, because, you know, we, we had our destiny in somebody else's hands, um, and we didn't know where we were going to end up. So just to be able to be in the playoffs is a um, great feeling. You know, we're, we're, we're blessed and we're ready, we're ready to play. What did you think going into the show? Were you, were you guys all watching it together? Were, like, were you guys 